found these pictures of Julie Anders and I, and we were singing the reprise of 16 going on 17 here. Millions remember Charmian Carr as the 16 going on 17 Liesel in the 1965 classic The Sound of Music. I was very happy then. It was like a fairy tale. But in more recent years, Charmian has suffered from bouts of extreme depression. It affects every part of your life, but you continue. You just continue. Clinical depression is, uh, is a brain condition in which a person is deprived of their ability to experience joy. Many times people say that it's as if they've been enveloped in a deep dense layer of clouds. Charmian got some relief from medications, but over the years, she says, the benefits became less and less, while the side effects got worse. People thought I had Parkinson's disease because I shaked so much from all the medicines. Charmian is undergoing the latest treatment for depression recently approved by the FDA and available at UCLA, an outpatient office procedure using a powerful external magnet. The magnet produces a very strong magnetic field. It's about one and a half Tesla, which is about the same strength that you see inside one of those MRI imaging machines. Charmian listens to the soothing sounds of ocean waves while the strong magnetic field is delivered in a series of pulses directly into the part of the brain known to affect our mood. It's like sometimes a little woodpecker, sometimes a big woodpecker. <laughs> And then I just close my eyes and picture being on a surfboard and watching the dolphins. Our best understanding is that when we stimulate a certain part of the brain called the left dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, it's kind of the area on the left behind the forehead, that area is very important in regulating mood. And when we boost its activity over and over again with this kind of stimulation, we're able to get it sort of to lift its activity and stay in that higher state. Researchers say people who suffer from depression show less activity in specific areas of the brain. These images show an increase in activity in those same areas following TMS treatment. These individuals had excitation of parts of their brain not only adjacent to the, where the TMS coil was placed, but at other locations throughout the brain that are also involved in regulating mood and emotion. Patients undergo TMS for about 45 minutes daily from four to six weeks. No anesthesia or sedation is required, and patients can go back to their normal activities the same day. Fine. After a few weeks of treatment, Charmian says she is experiencing some relief. The big result is I have been free of medication for almost six weeks now for the first time in over 20 years. There's nothing quite as satisfying as seeing a person who has struggled with depression for months or maybe even years suddenly have the sensation that the, the fog is parting, the light has come on, uh, they have a glimmer of hope. I have gone back to dance class as of last night <laughs> and to have another alternative has been wonderful for not only me, but for my family and my grandchildren.